In our last video, we explored the historic Voyager 1977 discovery. Today, we're diving into an even bigger adventure, Voyager's journey through the Oort cloud. In just 300 years, NASA's Voyager 1 will reach the outermost edge of our solar system, the Oort cloud. Even though its power will fade in the 2030s, its journey will stretch across thousands of years, taking around 30,000 years to pass through the Oort cloud. In 40,000 years, it will be closer to another star than our sun. In this video, we'll uncover the mystery of the Oort cloud and its lasting legacy in space exploration. Stay tuned for this cosmic odyssey. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was designed to explore the outer solar system, capturing detailed images of Jupiter and Saturn. After completing its primary mission, it continued beyond the outer planets, making history as the first spacecraft to leave the heliosphere, the protective bubble created by the solar wind, by crossing the heliopause in 2012. This was a landmark moment as it entered interstellar space, becoming the first human-made object to venture beyond the influence of the sun. At its current location, it is about 167 APRI-U, astronomical units, from Earth. To put this in perspective, 1 AU is the distance between Earth and the sun, roughly 93 million miles. Even as it moves farther from Earth, it continues to send data back, albeit with increasing delays as the distance grows. Currently, it takes over 23 hours for a signal to travel from Earth to Voyager. However, this communication will cease in the coming decades as the spacecraft's power continues to deplete. By the 2030s, it will no longer be able to send or receive signals, marking the end of its active mission. Even after losing communication, it will continue its journey through space for thousands of years, symbolizing humanity's ambition to reach beyond Earth. Its iconic golden record, a 12-inch gold-plated disc with sounds, images, and greetings from Earth, carries a message to the cosmos. While the record may not last forever, it could survive billions of years outlasting the spacecraft itself. The Oort Cloud is a region of icy objects that exists far beyond the planets, marking the outermost limit of the Sun's gravitational influence. First proposed by Dutch astronomer Jan Oort in 1950, it remains theoretical as no direct observations of it have been made. Nevertheless, the cloud's existence is inferred from the behavior of long-period comets which appear to originate from this region. It is believed to contain trillions of objects, remnants from the early solar system that were ejected to the farthest reaches by gravitational interactions with the sun, planets, and other stars. It is divided into two regions, the inner Oort cloud, also known as the Hills cloud, and the outer Oort cloud. The inner cloud extends from 2,000 to 20,000 asterisks U from the sun, while the outer cloud spans from 20,000 to 100,000 asterisks U centers. It plays an important role in the solar system's structure and the dynamics of comets. Long-period comets, which have highly elliptical orbits, are thought to originate from the outer solar system. These comets only pass through the inner solar system on rare occasions, often disturbed by the gravitational pull of passing stars or galactic tidal forces. It remains a largely unexplored region. It is so distant and diffuse that it cannot be directly observed with current technology. However, its hypothesized existence provides important clues about the early solar system, including the formation of comets and the objects that populate the outer edges of the sun's influence. The cloud is considered the boundary between our solar system and the vastness of interstellar space. In about 300 years, Voyager 1 will reach the inner edge of the Oort cloud, 
While the spacecraft won't interact with any objects in the cloud due to their sparse distribution, its entry into this region will mark the next phase of its long journey. Despite its low density, it represents a significant boundary in the solar system. It is considered the furthest point from the sun at which its gravity can still bind objects. As it crosses this frontier, it will continue traveling through a region of space that has remained largely untouched and unexplored. It will take about 30,000 years to pass through it. Given the vastness of space and the low likelihood of encountering any objects, Voyager's journey through this region will likely be uneventful in terms of physical interactions. <laughs> However, it offers a rare opportunity to study the outermost reaches of the solar system. It will be the first human-made object to explore this region, contributing valuable data to our understanding of the boundary of our solar system and the transition to interstellar space. After leaving it, Voyager will continue its journey through the Milky Way, passing closer to other stars over the next several millennia. In about 40,000 years, it will be closer to the star AC plus 793888 than to our Sun. However, despite its vast journey, its communication with Earth will end long before then, and its status as a silent traveler through the cosmos will be the enduring legacy of its mission. Though it will no longer send data, its journey remains a lasting symbol of humanity's drive to explore the universe. The spacecraft, carrying the golden record, will inspire future generations and space missions. Its legacy, enduring for millennia, represents our curiosity, creativity, and commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Voyager 1's journey through the Oort cloud and interstellar space is a monumental achievement in human exploration. While it will eventually fall silent, its legacy in science and space exploration will endure, inspiring future generations. Like, share, and subscribe for more space updates. What do you think it will encounter on its journey? Let us know in the comments.